when we have a feeling in our hearts, we're creating electrical and magnetic waves inside of our bodies that extend beyond our bodies into the world around us. And what's so interesting is the research shows that those waves extend not just one meter or two meters, many, many kilometers beyond where our heart physically resides. So right now in this room, this room is having an effect on Italy beyond this building, beyond these walls. And you'll see this afternoon when many, many people get together with one feeling, many hearts come together and create one feeling, it can change the world, and you'll see just how much. But it's only a miracle until we understand the science, then it's no longer a miracle, it becomes a technology, a powerful internal technology. So the film, this film was created in a medicineless hospital in Beijing, China. Medicineless hospital. No medicine hospital. I like that hospital. This film shows a woman who has been diagnosed with a cancer in her bladder. A three inch diameter cancer in her bladder. And Western doctors say they can do nothing. They say, we can't help you. So she has gone to a clinic in China where they think differently and they apply the technology from the ancient wisdom that is the same as the science that we just saw. So what you will see is this. There are three practitioners, three people trained to feel just the right feeling, the precise, correct feeling in their hearts. They create the feeling as if the woman is already healed. They create the feeling as if the woman is already healed. Now we will look inside of her body through a sonogram, through ultrasound. We can look into her body and we can watch her cancer disappear in three minutes in the presence of the language that heals. Does that make sense? Are you okay with that? Does that make sense? Would you like to see that? Yes. Okay. Good. So what you will see is the woman is awake. She is conscious. She has no anesthetic. She believes in the process. She believes in what is happening. And there are three practitioners who are trained to create the feeling in their bodies as if the woman is already healed. And then on the computer screen, we will see two images. One image is before the healing, and one image is actual time, real time, so we can see the healing happen. And while the healing is happening, you will hear the practitioners chant a word. And I want you to know there is no magic in the word. It could be any word. But this word is the word that they have chosen that reinforces for them, that tells them the feeling. So they agreed that this is the word that would create the feeling for them. But it could be any word. I just I want you to know that. So I'm explaining this now and we'll explain it again as we go through the film. 
over eight years, the center has successfully treated more than 180 types of illnesses, including bladder cancer. She's awake, she's conscious. There are three practitioners behind her. And here is the tumor, right here. The black is the emptiness of her bladder. This is the tumor. And now they take a snapshot for reference, a snapshot now. Okay, this is the real time. So this is now reference. This is actual time. This right here. Okay. This is two minutes, 40 seconds. Two minutes, 40 seconds. This, on the left-hand side, is the reference tumor. On the right-hand side, the tumor is gone. In the Western way of thinking, modern science says this is a miracle because they do not understand the field that connects everything and they do not understand the language that speaks to that field. But once we understand, that is no longer a miracle, that is a technology. And you listen to the chant. Okay, the word that they are using, wasa, wasa, loosely translated means already happened. It's already done. In their mind and in their heart, they're coming from the place that the healing has already happened. Not that it's going to happen, and not that it's about to happen, or that it's a long, slow happening, that it has already happened. And this is important, because the field of energy that we are about to discuss is a mirror, a mirror, it reflects our feeling of what we are experiencing in the moment. So if our belief is that our healing is about to happen, or that our perfect relationship will come to us someday, or that our abundance in the bank will happen someday, the field will keep reflecting 
someday, 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 because it is open-ended. There is no outcome. There is no conclusion. This is a very subtle, very powerful understanding of how this field works. This field that we're about to discuss now, the divine matrix, is a field that mirrors now, not in the future, not in the past, this moment. So what we choose to experience in our lives, we must first feel in our hearts as if it has already happened. And this is something that happens all the time in this part of the world. It's not one time only healing. They do this all the time. But when Western scientists see this, it makes no sense. Because Western science says that our beliefs and our feelings and our emotions have no effect on the world outside of our bodies. But we know that that's not true. The experiments that we showed just before the break, the three experiments, what they showed is that human DNA has a direct effect on our physical world, one. Number two, they showed that human emotion changes the DNA that is changing our physical world. And it's happening because there's a field that connects everything together. The experiments suggest that Max Planck's matrix, this matrix, is the conduit. Now the idea that everything is connected is a very old idea. Even in science, in the late 1800s, there was a belief that there was an invisible web of energy that connects everything in the 1800s. And scientists were very, uh, in a very heated debate, very controversial, as to whether or not this field exists. There was a very famous experiment that was conducted to determine if the field called the, the ether field actually existed. In the year 1887, the very famous Michelson-Morley experiment was designed to tell once and for all, is the field here or no? Yes or no? The field exists? It does not exist. In my opinion, it was a good experiment. However, it was poorly interpreted. For over 100 years, our science has been based in a belief that is incorrect. It's incorrect. Now, this is very interesting. 100 years later, 1986, the United States Air Force repeated that experiment. 1986, the United States Air Force replicated the Michelson-Morley experiment. They published the results in the very prestigious journal Nature, the scientific journal Nature. What they found was this. They repeated the experiment with good equipment, much better equipment. The bottom line is that the field exists. They found that the field is actually there. This is reported in August 1986, the journal Nature, volume 322. They said, ah, the field is there. And not only is the field there, it measured precisely the way that Michelson and Morley had predicted 100 years earlier. They just didn't have the equipment to work this out. Now, why don't we know about this? This should have made the cover of every major magazine and newspaper. This should have been on CNN headline news or Sky News. But this changes everything for the scientists. Because the textbooks all say the field is not there. Entire careers are based on the field not being there. And now the field is there.